So we are about to find out if autopilot works with no screen. So what exactly is going on here? If you guys have seen Matt from Tech Forum, he has designed a bracket so that you can change the position of your Tesla Model 3 screen. So in this video, I'm not gonna do the install or anything. I will link below to his video showing the install and how you can purchase this if you're interested. I do wanna mention two things that I noticed while I was going through the taking apart process. Um, I noticed that on Matt's video, he doesn't have this little white clip, show you a picture of that. So that simply just moves out of the way. You don't have to do anything special with that. And I was very unsure of the clip he was talking about on the red piece. So I took a picture of that, I'm gonna show you where you're actually supposed to pinch because I was pinching the right part, I was, but this thing is so hard to get out, you know, it's a little nerve wracking. Um, Matt mentions building computers is similar. If you've ever seated RAM in a computer and you gotta like jam it in there and you're like, oh my gosh, the whole motherboard is bending, it's kind of like that. But still, if you do decide to do this, be super careful. Overall, this is really simple to do. I spent probably 10 minutes getting that clip out uh, to remove the wire from the screen. Uh, but beyond that, I got to this step in, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. So overall, it's really simple, but it's really nerve wracking because, you know, this is kind of, risky to do this. So I wanted to do something before I just install this and move on. I kind of wanted to see if the car still works. Um, so let's set the screen down here very carefully. And I'm curious, uh, obviously I can't really control anything, but turn signal, it does. And we still have sound. So it's not like when the screen freezes and all your sounds are gone. Let's test the headlights. They work. I don't know if you can see them shining off the wall over there. The headlights are working. So I had my Bluetooth turned off because I was listening to Matt's install video and I didn't want it to go over the car speakers. So let's see if the app works. Locked the car. If we go to climb it. Yep. You can probably hear the climate just came on. Heated seats still work. So everything seems to still work. So if I use my key here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That is not my driving position. I think it went to Stephanie's. Oh my gosh, you can drive without the screen. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so here we go. Sorry for any rattling. I got all my tools in the seat next to me. So we are about to find out if autopilot works with no screen. Look at that, it's on. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Now, I will say, this looks awesome the way it is. Obviously you can't do this, but it's it's just so open and it probably just feels new. But like, I don't know, everything is so open and big now. Like the car is already open, but not having this here is really nice. So, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I can't believe that works. Um, so we're going 55 according to the app. Yep, I did the scroll wheel up and, oh, sorry, I touched the brake there. I was thinking of turning. Um, so I put the scroll wheel up and now we're at 60 and I can see on the app, the uh, speed is increasing. So I have the app uh, up just to my left. Uh, I'm just gonna turn here to turn around. So you can hear the turn signals on. So turning around, drive, reverse, it all works uh, just like it should. So the car doesn't seem to care whether it has a screen or not. Here we go, zero to whatever, have no idea. Let's head back, I'm gonna install the screen, lowered, it's gonna be lowered, it's tilted a little bit, and you can angle it towards the driver, um, or you just keep it in the center. I'm not gonna angle it towards me, only because I'm in here with Stephanie pretty often, and you know she uses it while we're driving too. So I'm just gonna keep it facing forward. My other thought is, you know, of course I do a lot of autopilot and driving videos, and I hope that it's not too low, to where it interferes with those videos. If it is, I'm gonna have to just go back to stock. Um, but I'm excited, Matt developed this because he was trying to go for the look that we saw in the Concept Model 3. So he showed some of the artwork of that concept and how the screen was lowered and everything was kind of more sweeping. Um, and so he kind of made that a reality with, the, with this setup. Um, so it's very cool. The only thing you know that kind of holds me back a little bit is this is you know pretty serious stuff. Oh no, I have to back up without a camera now. This sucks. I'm so used to having that camera. I mean, I guess I can use mirrors, but... Oh, my camera, come back. You do still get your warning chimes as you're backing up. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Nice and low. Just kidding. 
Okay, so here we are before fully tightening it down. It actually looks really cool. Um, even I'm in the passenger seat right now, but even from here, um, I can tell like it's a lot lower and this kind of area is just a bit more open. Now, before it's fully tightened down, you can decide where you want this to be. Oh. Looks like I tightened it a little too much. So you have some bolts back here and you can loosen them up. And now if I want it tilted towards the driver, wow, that actually looks so cool. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay, I kind of want to do that. And you know what's cool is if I'm filming a video, it's now it's not like a quick release or anything. You have to use this Allen key, but I could just keep this, you know, in my center console here. And if I'm going to film a video, I could just quickly, you know, turn it like that and then film the video. And then when I'm done, if I want to go back to styling or the cool way, you have to kind of lift it a little bit and just put it back like that. Um, so I'd have to loosen it a little bit and do that. But this looks very cool. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised at how awesome it looks. So let me finish it up. We'll kind of compare it to before. Um, I'll show you some of the before shots and then uh, I'll give you my thoughts. All right, I'm about to cover this up, but before I do, I wanted to show you what's going on back here so you can see how it adjusts. Um, so this bolt moves left and right, and then this bolt kind of sweeps in and out. And that's how, you know, if it's all the way over here and over here, there's no angle. It's facing straight back like uh, stock. And the way, the position I have it right now, that has it angled towards the driver. So you can just slide that back and forth, but I've tightened these. So now it's, it's not, you know, I'm hitting it. It's not moving anywhere. And here's what the back looks like when it's complete. It's just a uh, soft fabric that goes on here, but it looks pretty good. Again, you can leave that off, but the reason I wanted it on is down here. Uh, this, this piece, hold on one second. Let's see, that's that for you. So this piece right here, this is the temperature sensor in your car. And I wanted to put it there. Uh, there's Matt shows you how to mount it without this, um, but I wanted it there. And I think this uh, shroud looks pretty nice. Okay, so here is the final installation. I have this angled toward the driver. Um, we're gonna go for a drive in a minute and I'm gonna need your opinion. So please, please check out the driving portion of this at the end and let me know what you think. I will do um, angle towards the driver. I want to know how it looks for you, the autopilot information and everything. And then I will angle it towards the camera, but it is still, of course, lowered with this adjustment. And again, please let me know what you think. Um, I wanna keep the autopilot videos good for you guys, but what I'm seeing here right now on the GoPro looks fine. I don't think you'll have any issue. And I am like loving this. So let's go take it for a drive. Okay, so here we are driving. Uh, I don't know if it looks as strange to you as it does to me, um, but I do, I do really, really like it. So here's autopilot as if, you know, we're doing some kind of driving. I'm doing a video about driving. Um, let me know how this looks on the screen. If even with it tilted towards me, lowered, are you getting a good view of the screen? Let me make sure the camera's good. Of this screen, are you getting still a good view of the road? I obviously can't look at the camera too much, but just glancing really quick at the GoPro, it looks fine to me, um, which is really exciting because I kind of love this. Uh, I may still switch it back to facing the back. I, I don't know. So right now, my steering wheel is not in the way of any of this information, but it is just barely like this is blocked. That's it. This white, none of this white is blocked by the steering wheel, but a little bit of this black is. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but it is throwing me off just a tiny bit. I'm sure I'll get used to it. And again, no information is blocked, so it's not really a negative, I would say, but it is something I'm noticing. Okay, so I pulled over here. I'm just gonna very quickly adjust this to face the back, and then we'll drive back and check it out. Okay, so no big deal there. Very easy to adjust. Uh, just took a second. So uh, I, I kind of like, I like it tilted. I like it tilted. I didn't think I would. I thought I would still want it facing backwards. And in the Model S and X, that's how the that this middle screen for them is. It is tilted towards the driver. So let's get back on the road really quick and see how this looks for you. I would really, really love to keep this and I would really like it to be angled. Um, but if you can't see what's going on, those videos are pretty important to me and to my channel. And to you guys, I know you really love the driving videos, so I really don't want to compromise those. But this thing, I love it. I really love it. I'm already, at this point, I'm totally used to it. The steering wheel is still kind of doing this, so that makes me think even stock it was doing that, and I just filtered it out of my brain. Um, okay, let's go. No, no braking needed here. Um, so, yeah, I really like it. It's really easy to reach. The other thing that I was noticing, why is this so zoomed in? 
Um, oh, probably because when I had it on the cloth, I noticed it came out of the screen cleaning mode. Um, the other thing is when it's tilted towards you, all of this, like that, what I'm reaching for, is way closer to you. It's way easier to use everything on there when it's tilted. So let me show you some before and after. I took some pictures uh, and a little bit of video, and I'll give you my thoughts on this. Uh, but I mean, I love it. If you've had enough, I mean, I really like it. But install, um, I, I kind of want to talk to you about the install. So practically the install is very, very easy. There aren't many steps. Uh, besides getting that cable out, it really only takes you about 10 minutes to do this. The only reason I would be hesitant to recommend this is if you do mess something up with the screen. On eBay, those screens are well over $1,000. I don't know what Tesla charges for them, but I'm sure it's much more than that. And if you were to mess up something with the cable that actually goes into the screen, I don't even know what you'd do in that situation. Maybe Tesla could splice it. It's not as big of a deal as I think. But again, install very easy and I really like the results. Of course, this is all just a matter of taste. One more thing people may be worried about is warranty. Uh, like any car modifications, the only part of your warranty that you mess up is with the part you're modifying. Uh, and Matt actually also has a video on that, so I'll let you watch that. If I did need to take this in for service at Tesla, I would simply just put it back to stock. Again, it only takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do this, so I would just put it back the way it was, and it would look exactly the same. There wouldn't be any problems. Overall, I'm really liking this mod. Let me know your opinions on this. Uh, any questions you have, I look forward to talking to you down in the comments. I am a little cautious to give this a full recommendation only because of the mistakes that potentially could be made. But assuming no mistakes are made, you do the install in 15 minutes with no complications, uh, I think this is awesome. I'm really enjoying it. So I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and answering any questions you have. I will see you in the next video.